name is Andrew Carroll. I'm 18 years old. I just turned 18 on August 5th. Happy birthday to you. Andrew was a very good soccer player. He was uh, very intense. Right from when he was born, he was doing things that we thought were kind of extraordinary. This song is actually 5-4. I like writing like off-time stuff. He was a very quiet kid. I don't know. He kept to himself. He didn't start opening up till like two years ago. That's probably when I first got into libertarianism because before it was just a bunch of ideas in my head. There wasn't a name for it until I discovered the flag of libertarianism. Andrew is very intelligent, obviously, but he also is kind of, um, I would say, not streetwise. I've never really left California before. We went on vacation and we came home and he says, by the way, I'm moving to New Hampshire. <laughs> and I'm moving in a few days as part of the Free State Project. He wants to be a politician or something of that nature. Politics is probably the last thing I thought he would pursue. Yeah, he's uh, going, going to follow his dream, I guess. I was saying you have to have two different kinds of shoes. You have to have winter shoes and summer Who shoes. Who knows? You know that? <laughs> oh, I know. I'll, I'll ask people. I'll figure it out. I could picture him with a scarf, one of those guys in a scarf. The muffler, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you're going to the Free State, they, they lured you to it, huh? The Free State Project is an effort to bring thousands of libertarians to New Hampshire where they'll get active in politics, society, and culture, and hopefully influence the state for the better. My name is Jason Sorens. I'm a political science professor. They call me the founder. <laughs> I uh, wrote the article that started the Free State Project. I remember one day he was sitting at the computer and he kind of had this strange inflection in his voice. And this idea of, of uh, moving people um, to a particular state. And he said, you know, I'm getting a lot of emails about this article that I wrote. And so I sent it to this online journal, uh, The Libertarian Enterprise, and uh, the editor uh, asked to sign up, so I thought it was <laughs> I might be onto something. I just thought he was crazy. Libertarians have had a lot of good ideas, but those ideas haven't filtered down to the general population simply because libertarians are such a small part of the population everywhere. So the thinking was, if you concentrate a bunch of libertarians in a single state, they'll raise a percentage of the population that's libertarian. And, and those people, if they're active, that's going to increase the relevance of these ideas. My name is Matt Simon. I, I was born in Parkersburg, West Virginia. All right, this is for all the freaks in the crowd. Today I'm holding signs for candidates, uh, for a state representative mainly. There's a U.S. Senate candidate on here to identify the party brand so people know these are Republicans. I may be helping Democrats this weekend, in fact I am, but kind of bounce back and forth based on how they are on the issues and certainly on the issues that are important to me. I've been in New Hampshire for almost three years now and enjoying it to the fullest, I have to tell you. I wanted to go somewhere where I could feel more optimistic, somewhere where I could get involved and not feel like I'm banging my head against the wall. With me in the studio is Matt Simon, Executive Director of the New Hampshire Coalition for Common Sense Marijuana Policy. That's when the Free State Project came along and kind of shined a big light on New Hampshire. People who come to New Hampshire fall in love with it are some of the most enthusiastic pro-New Hampshire people out there, and I like to think I'm one of them. It's great to be able to walk down there and hear people in their everyday talk talking about politics, which you, know, you didn't get in Utah. Politics was just one of those taboo subjects you don't talk about in mixed company. <laughs> My name is Lou Eastman. I'm 42 years old. I've been a musician for 30 plus years. Not exactly the studio that I used to have. I wasn't in a glam band, though I did use a lot of Aquanet. I'm a member of the Free State Project. I wanted to come somewhere where my freedoms are at least understood. Pretty soon I was looking at jobs, I was looking at uh, real estate prices, and talking to my family about it, which uh, they weren't too receptive. Well, it's not so much my family, it was my wife, my now ex-wife. When I did finally move out here, there was an agreement that you know I would come out here for six months to a year and it would follow once I established everything. That didn't happen. Yeah, I've never done anything solo. I miss my kids. We're at the Manchester airport, and we're waiting for my daughter to get uh, back from Utah. Elizabeth, or Eli, as she likes to be called, um, is coming to live with me. I love New Hampshire, and I love my dad. <laughs> it's going to be a challenge, but it'll be, it'll be interesting. I was pretty much independent by the time I was 15, 16 years old. I believe that government has a role, um, but a very, 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 very minimal role. I mean, because really all government is, is force. And the question is, um, is it force that keeps people in line? 
My name is Will Buchanan. Is she in the right position? Or okay, yep. okay. My name is Will Buchanan. I'm 35 years old. My name is Brooke Buchanan. I'm 29 years old. Brooke and I were living in Hawaii at the time, um, in her dad's basement. One morning, I woke up and I just turned to him and asked him if he liked to walk. And I said, "Yeah, I guess so." And I said, "How much?" And I was kind of suspicious at that point. And she said. How about walking across the country to get to New Hampshire? And immediately, I just loved the idea. I attached right onto it, and you know, we started planning from there to walk from the West Coast to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project. I walked about 22.4 miles today. 22 miles today. Hopefully, 23 and a half miles today. Still relatively good considering. I guess it could, he could come across as crazy because not many people act according to their core beliefs. Figure out what's important for you in your life, you know, what you really want to accomplish, and go for it. That's what really hooked me, was that these people are serious, you know? These people aren't just talking, they're actually gonna do something. There are unalienable rights that people are born with that are, that are natural to being a person. You know, growing up, I thought I was living in a free country. You know, that's what we were all told when we were growing up. But really, it's hard to find one single aspect of your life in which you're, you're not regulated or taxed in some way in. We're losing a lot of what made this country what it is. And we need to get back to that. It's just such a great opportunity to really go out there and do something that I feel is, is just so incredibly important. What I'd like to see is simply a, a freer society. I think they think we're dreamers, but I think when, when changes are, are made, they're made by dreamers.